Former federal prosecutor Himanshu Nigam is founder of SSP Blue, the online safety consulting firm. Can it happen just as quickly and, and just as frightening? Lee, as, as we saw in that clip? Well, it can. What you have to do is say to your, your, your own kids, you are my best technology educator. You're in my house. Teach me how this world works. There's a lot of great technology out there, security technology, antivirus technology, anti-phishing technology. You name it, everyone's talking about it. We're all starting to use it. We're getting so much better. So what do the hackers and the criminals do? They exploit the one thing that we're not thinking about online, and that's our trust with our friends. Who are you talking to? I'm chatting, Dad. What the movie is actually designed to do is raise dialogue. The character Annie that we're talking about is actually what I would call an at-risk teenager. Her father is actually working very hard and not giving as much attention as he normally used to. Visa, MasterCard, all of these companies have been put on notice by the hackers. If you can make a great headline, and major corporations in America always make a great headline, you ought to be on red alert, you ought to be locking down your systems. ICANN is an organization that's very much like the Supreme Court. They decide whether there is a .com, .net, and now they've decided there's going to be a .XXX. For thousands of years, people have debated whether or not there should be a legitimate adult industry, and it looks like for the Internet, now we have one. You're worried about this? Start using software on your family computer and say block all adult entertainment. You couldn't actually create a better Hollywood script since I'm coming to you from Los Angeles right now. You have, in essence, Julian Assange, who has become a cyber messiah, and hundreds of followers who are waking up zombie computers, their soldiers, and attacking companies like Visa, MasterCard, as well as now Sarah Palin's website. This sounds like a, a real blow to cyber bullies. This is actually a great new law because, and, and the result might have been a pissed off politician who's trying to help out a great constituent of his or her to create a law for the little guy. And I say that because what this does is it makes it a crime, not just a civil problem, but a crime to impersonate somebody. Pay attention to this law because what you have here is a great little piece of legislation. It's not 200 pages long, it's one paragraph. The thing to take away from the movie, and, and David actually did a great job of putting Hollywood in touch and perfectly with reality of what happens in these situations, and that is in this case, Annie is actually becoming an at-risk teenager. So what you see from an online predator perspective is, oh, hone in on that kid because that kid needs attention, and then they'll shower them with attention, and eventually their goal is to say, let's meet somewhere. And from Annie's perspective, she's not meeting a stranger, she's meeting a friend, in her mind, a true friend, a friend or a boyfriend. The conduct that they have online and offline affects their future, it affects their reputation, it affects what jobs they might get in the future. These women are soliciting sex uh, on the internet and they're getting away with it and Craigslist is not at all being held responsible. How is this still so? Well, they're absolutely going to be held responsible and let me say why. Two years ago, less than two years ago, 40 state attorneys general entered into an agreement with Craigslist saying you have to do better to clean up the adult illegal prostitution going on the site, which means in essence they've been on probation. So from the founder's perspective, they mm -hmm. got to be thinking, do I want to stand for a business like this, make millions off what? of it, or do I care about the issue here, which is about children, and do something what? proactively to stop it? Well, what it does is it puts our country's security at risk, and at risk for the people watching at home. And I say that because now you're vulnerable to bribery. You may have downloaded a virus that puts a backdoor into a government system that can be used on a cyber terrorist attack or by an enemy foreign state. When people leave signs of trouble that they're having in the physical world, they may say something, they may act unusual, their friends notice it, but they're not quite sure what's going on inside that troubled mind. Today we have social media. And just like you're saying, this individual had left all sorts of signs in all sorts of places, and we have to figure out what can we do in the future so that we can avert this kind of tragedy. When you see something, Report it. Report it to the social media company because many of these companies actually have people in place who respond to things like this, who respond to potential threats. Can you describe exactly what happened with these emails? Whoever did this used technology, software technology that's been around for 20 years that allows you to change 
where your email is coming from, go into your options area, find the header information. At least know where it is so when your senses say something is wrong, then your action is go look at that information.